currently now in Pampanga. I should have brought my mic, apologies for the audio. And it's a birthday celebration today. So we're gonna have Bulgogi, well the place that we're headed to is Bulgogi. We've been before on the channel. Hopefully it, it tastes the same, the food, the quality of food. Seems like more accidents are gonna happen. But, hello. Weather is scorching. scorching. This is a common commodity as well in the Philippines now. Korean barbecue. I don't know. If, it's not even called Korean barbecue anymore. It's called samgyeopsal, if I'm even pronouncing it correctly. Let's go and enjoy. Of Costco here in the Philippines, and it 
wasn't the greatest. Sometimes when you feel... In 300 meters, turn right onto Mekong yeah. Road. Sometimes when you feel that something isn't worth it, then just go with your gut. It's, it's the best way, I would suppose. I go about things, best policy, so let's head to Nutrition Depot, actually. We're here, SM City. Got my iced Americano and what's up? Let's go. I don't know if you saw previously, but I saw a pair of Pegasus 40s, ridiculous price, 50% off, and they didn't have my size, so I saw a pair of basketball shoes, I don't want to say the person's name, and I saw them at first, walked around a bit, thought about it, and I said, listen, I checked the prices, all of it, it was good to go. 50% off as well if I calculate how much it is back there and then how much it is here it's worth it. it was worth it for sure and it's a new silhouette anyway so I don't see why we, we shouldn't pick it up might as well now we've got a five food I would say that's a six uh, that's a successful trip because we've got OTs we've got a pair of basketball shoes Oh. Yeah, man. Now it's just time to go get some food. I don't know what we're gonna get here, but we'll see. Let's go. Double cheese, brother. Oh, got my chicken sandwich as well. Uh, is that it? Where's the drink? Fries. Some type of fizzy pop. Day, it's 
trees. I did mention, I don't know if the audio or if it picked up the audio earlier because it was so hectic. One thing about the Philippines that I've learned is that everything is just amplified. The sound is doubled. The people are doubled in such a confined space that sometimes it can get a bit too much in that it gives you a headache instantly. And then you pair that with heat. It's a recipe for just having a banging headache in that moment but then you eat and then you're fine and then it just cycles on but I did mention earlier that great days are always rounded off with McDonald's but I lied because initially I was gonna get Krispy Kremes it didn't work out we even went to a Krispy Kreme on the highway drive-through locked off closed I assume it's because it is a Wednesday save a one thing you can rely on is a starbucks because they close really really late and filipinos love a sugar rush starbucks in the philippines is not coffee based it is sugar based and to cue in sugar i haven't had this in ages in if i'm, if I'm honest about five years now I got myself a sticky cinnamon bun so I'm gonna dive into this give it a little bite and they were kind enough upon request to warm it up for me which is absolutely divine and I was watching myself, I watch back these edits or this content when I'm editing and some of the words I opt for, some of the words that I choose to use as adjectives, they make me laugh. Let's eat, cheers. It's cheesy, but cinnamony. Goat cheesy. This is a goat dessert. Cheers, guys. I'll see you in the next vlog, I suppose.